Hi YouTube and welcome to episode 3 of How to Make Wagon Loads. Um, if you're wondering what I mean by episode 3, I have done a whole series on this. So I would go to my channel to check it out or click on the link now. Or click on the link that will be at the end of the video um, to see some of the previous videos or the next video in the series when I upload it. And today we're going to be doing loads like this. So yep, that's right. Now today we are going to be doing vehicles. Um, I have brought hundreds and hundreds of vehicles up to the so-called studio today um, and I'm going to talk you through basically how to use them on wagons. So as you've just seen the little Fords and tractor that I've got <laughs> just rolled backwards um, and basically anything that's small and in an era that's not modern something like this not like this something like that um, can go on a wagon such as this um, it simply sits on there you can see the four little sort of marks that's basically where the tyres go um, so that basically sits on there but that on its own um, won't do because you know you don't see things on a railway like that because they will just go train accelerates as you can see we've got a bit of a problem if the train goes downhill Ooh. <laughs> it stayed there um, but yeah it will roll backwards and forwards is what I'm trying to show you okay another jump cut because I just realized that that front bit fell out if you notice that um, yes that's because um, I didn't just break that now, I broke it actually when I got it out of the box um, and ever since it keeps falling out but it will sit there quite happily, it's not too noticeable. Um, so chains is what we need to hold it in place. Um, what they would use in real life is chains and what you can use is an old necklace or something. Um, I think this is an actual sort of chain, but it might have been a necklace at some point. I have no idea if I'm honest. Take them all off, and we're basically going to wrap it round uh, twice. Should do it. Uh, both inside the wheels. And we're going to keep it quite sort of loose. Um, and then the rest can sort of just be made into a pile behind it as you can see and there you go that looks quite effective it holds it on and now it's not going anywhere if you are however making a load like this Ford and tractor um, because of how much space there is under it it's quite likely to still roll around so blue tack Blue tack I find so useful when it comes to model railways. Um, you can use it for pretty much everything. It's just it, it's a saviour. Um, so you can make little chocks if you like uh, and paint them to the right colour so they sort of camouflage. Or you can sort of um, yeah, get off my finger. There. It can sort of go like that. Uh, it just sort of half sticks to the wheel, half sticks to the um, wagon and then you put one there and one back there and that pretty much stops it rolling um, and it looks quite good uh, you could also, if you're not going to paint it, disguise it under some chains uh, the spare chains, you just call them on the blue tack and I think that looks really good going back to camouflaging things when I was talking about painting that um, if you have silver chains, um, obviously ask the chain owner's permission first, but I would paint them because um, if you're wrapping them around, as you can see it is very very shiny and in real life these would be absolutely covered in rust. So ideally I'd go for a gold or bronze type colour, um, but if you have a silver one lying around, uh, you could try weathering it up and covering it in rust. Now, if you're going for the more modern approach, this is what you need, a car carrier. 
Um, this isn't quite the most modern one because this is for cars this size. And if I just bring up a modern double O car, it's that size. I assure you, these are both double O, but um, that's basically uh, more around the time of stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, don't muddle these up and don't put them on the same car carrier. In fact, I think the car carrier has actually changed size um, because you can get several of these and put them along. That's how simple it is. Um, but if you try and put one of these on, it actually won't fit. So you will need one of the Hornby um, moderner ones. Um, so don't mix these. But there's a tip if you're going for the older style, um, have tiny cars. <laughs> Um, and a smaller car carrier if you're going for the newer style, uh, bigger cars. Um, you can also have something like ice cream vans, uh, that can go there or on the uh, that type of um, wagon. Um, and you can have um, vans in general, so um, stuff like that. But again, oh that does fit actually, so there you go, yeah. There's the old Land Rover, that will fit on there um, quite happily. So there you go, that was episode 4 of How to Make Wearing Loads. Thanks for watching.